Hello there, and welcome to a new After Effects tutorial. I'm Tony King. Uh, Happy New Year. This is my first uh, tutorial of the new year, 2017. So in this tutorial, um, i just like to show you how I made this uh, blurry cinematic uh, title that can go for the beginning of a movie or the uh, beginning of a trailer, any time in the trailer, I guess. Um, but uh, here it is. All right, and there you have it. So um, tomorrow I'll also be re um, releasing another tutorial that is extremely similar to this that has to do with lights and After Effects that uh, I don't think are very much used as much as they could be. And I'm just going to really uh, go on the basics of lighting in uh, After Effects. But uh, let's jump right into this. For this, um, for this you will need uh, uh, particles from Video Copilot. They are free. I'm using particles 8 and tomorrow we'll be using particle 6 so just for future reference and um, that's it optical flares that's optional um, but uh, I am using optical flares okay so I wanna I wanna just go through what I did here uh, I'm gonna make a new composition let's call this a blur in title because I already did blur in for my actual composition let's make it six seconds okay and 1920 by uh, 1280. Okay, so I want to make a new uh, solid, a background BG. Uh, I already have my color here that I like. It's a uh, medium gray blue, I guess. Uh, and um, here we have our new solid. Now I want to go up here. It says uh, the mask tools, shapes. I want to make an ellipse. Okay, here we have our ellipse. But I don't want to just leave it as an ellipse. Um, so I'm going to add a new dot and cover this whole corner, the, bot the top left and the bottom right corner. And then what I want to do is go in mask and invert it. So we, here we have um, our uh, edges, I guess. And in mask, I want to add a lot of feathering. And I want to expand it a bit so it's only the corners. And I want to lower the opacity a bit. Uh, just for the sake of this tutorial, I'm going to go ahead and show you what I, my exact parameters. I had 308 on feather, 42 on opacity, and 85 on expansion. So that looks like this 308. Um, what was that? 40, 42, and 85. So that's uh, that's about what I had right there. Looks pretty pretty cool. Uh, now what I want to make is the the text. So I actually had a um, a title comp here, and it's uh, three text layers. So first there's the A, and I use the Align tab, which I have over here. It might be in a different place for you. Uh, and th this is all centered. The text is, in paragraph is also centered. I just did A, then Tony King, a lot bigger here at the bottom. As you can see, it's 75 font black in, against 34 font and I spread it out by 84. I'm using Babis new font and um, then I just put original film. This can be anything you want it. Original tutorial. <laughs> Whatever you want. But um, just for the sake of time to keep this a bit shorter I'm just gonna put in um, this uh, title here, and as you can see it's just sitting here. So I'm gonna go to toggle switches and modes at the bottom. You might already be on this but uh, I'm gonna make this a 3D layer and what I did was I started um, with the position pretty far back so say about right there and then at the end of the composition I brought it back up to about zero I'm just gonna put it at zero for this okay so um, here we have it now I wanna now what I wanna do is I wanna create a new adjustment layer and uh, this is obviously where we're going to make um, the blur effect but one thing I would I would like to point out um, that is very important here at the beginning is that we don't want to keep this as a perfect ellipse. So because uh, you want to make this mask an ellipse so that you can rotate it and make it look good. So I'm going to select these bottom three points, the left, bottom, and right. I'm going to shift them up quite a bit because we want to um, not have such a harsh edge. Um, at the bottom. So now what I'm going to do is 
I'm going to go to the beginning of the composition and I'm going to select go to effects and write in Gaussian blur Gaussian blur I use this effect in like every tutorial and I don't know how to pronounce it properly sorry um, and uh, we want to add a lot of blur to make sure it's both horizontal and vertical so I think I even had like up to 1 150 maybe uh, at the start of mine let me see where, where I had it title reveal yeah I had it to 123 but uh, you know it's fine yeah I actually had it on 123 wrong okay so we want to key for, set the keyframe here for the start and I don't want to go all the way to the end of this composition with this blur uh, I want to go to about five seconds out of this six we're having here and I'm going to set it down to zero okay so now what you have is a uh, is a nice it's coming towards the camera in 3d and uh, you can slowly tell what it's saying but uh, I don't I don't think that's uh, I don't think that's as perfect as it could be so what I did was I um, I keyframed position and rotation and then I'm going to hit U so I can see all of these effects and uh, now I'm going to go all the way to my last um, to where I end the blurriness and I'm going to rotate um, our adjustment layer as much as I want it to be rotated and then I'm going to position it to the side all the way until it's hardly past the G okay and uh, now somewhere here in the middle I really want to show um, I, want, I want to decide at what rate I will be so I'm going to make it um, a bit more rotated and I'm going to bring it back just a tad just so it doesn't go too fast but now, but now as you can see there's a real harsh edge with this blur um, so I'm going to go back into our mask I'm going to hit M while selected on the adjustment layer I'm going to feather 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 this out excuse me quite a bit until it's about like that so that's uh, it's pretty nice as you can see there isn't a harsh edge from the uh, solid layer uh, or the layer not solid the adjustment layer which would have been there before if we hadn't um, squished our uh, mask so um, that, was, that was a problem when I was first making this okay but um, now it's not really noticeable but you can see it sort of smudges our background layer and that's not really what we want so let's uh, select the adjustment layer in our in our title layer and I'm going to pre-compose that control shift C and I'm going to call this uh, title reveal you can call it title reveal 1, 2, whatever you want to I'm going to call it 3 because this is my third uh, in this project okay and here we have it the blur no longer affects our background but uh, what, what I also had were, were the particles so I'm going to go ahead and select the particles I had particle 8 for this I believe yes particle 8 um, okay I'm going to go um, back to blur in title excuse me so many comps open <laughs> okay here particle 8 and I'm going to scale it up so that it covers the entire screen and then I'm going to toggle switches and set the transfer mode to screen and as you can see now it's a very like gray sort of and we don't really want that look but uh, we do want these subtle particles that really add to the cinematic feel I think at least um, to the effect so we're gonna drop down the opacity all the way down to 18 so you can still see the particles but um, the black in the background is uh, you can still it still feels black it might not be exactly black but to the to the eye of the beholder I guess it uh, still feels black and that's a, it's a useful trick to, uh, to know because before as you can see if I add more it becomes all gray and ugly okay so back down to 18 okay and um, now this next this next one is uh, optional because I think this looks pretty pretty good by itself but uh, um, because you may not have optical flares um, but uh, I'm gonna add another solid doesn't matter what the color is I'm gonna put it on the bottom and wow that actually doesn't look too bad like that <laughs> but uh, okay I'm gonna go ahead and add optical flares and uh, 
I'm fine working with uh, this uh, generic flare here and I'm going to leave the center where it is but uh, put the position out here a bit and uh, this sort of uh, adds uh, a bit of detail that uh, is appealing to the eye I think and um, I'm gonna by the way this flares on the very bottom oops I can call this flare sorry uh, I'm gonna put a keyframe for the position and I'm gonna not gonna stop at five I'm gonna go all the way to the very end um, select the optical flares and then bring the position the position X Y just a bit over that top corner so it makes a subtle motion but what this does it really uh, the detail between the two corners I guess uh, I think it looks really really awesome like this and um, yeah this this can be used for tutorials not tutorials trailers excuse me um, or movies anything really you know like I put original film and it looks really cinematic if you ask me um, so yeah that, this is a blurry reveal and uh, tomorrow I'm gonna put a reveal that is basically the same same thing same concept but with a light instead of a blur which is a little more complicated a little harder to grasp if you have never used a light um, layer but uh, I hope uh, you'll understand after watching this that tutorial um, so thanks for watching this tutorial uh, I hope you subscribe to my channel for the next tutorials coming out soon and um, thanks for watching here's a preview of what will come tomorrow